All right, so you've been hearing us talk about this new podcast. In fact, Dayton 24 7 Now, we're launching the podcast called Missing Erica Baker. So today, the season trailer is now available on all podcast providers, social media platforms, and of course at Dayton247Now.com. My co anchor Nathan, you've been working on this podcast for several months. So I just kind of want you to give a little bit of a breakdown of what people can expect as you start to release some of these episodes. Yeah, well, today we have the trailer up. Tuesday, I mean Wednesday, excuse me, Wednesday, we will have the first two episodes and then we'll have a total of six episodes in total. So basically what this will break down is the different elements of the case, where she went missing, what happened the day of, revisiting that history, getting into the mind of what detectives were thinking, what her family was thinking. We hear from her childhood best friend about the trauma in her life as she lost her best friend, who she says was like a sister to her. Then we kind of dive into the investigation, how police first come across the prime suspect here, Christian Gabriel. Then we talk to, to prosecutors about how they go about trying this case. We talk about how the community recovers from trauma from a nine-year-old who just vanishes. I mean, I remember when I was a kid, uh, Eric and I would have actually been the same age, and today, uh, actually Wednesday, marks her birthday. Uh, she would have been 33 years old. And I just couldn't help but thinking, like, how does a little girl like this just disappear? Never been found. Yeah, it's something that we, you and I were talking about during the break is, you know, why this case? You mentioned that I think because it's been 23 years, people sort of forget how big this case is or, or really was and why and what was that attention that it was getting at the time? I think everybody as they grow up have certain news stories that they remember seeing on the TV that just stand out to them. Mm -hmm. For me, it was this story. And I think the story was so big because it was so relatable for so many people, not only on a local level, but a national level as well. The family appeared on the Oprah Winfrey mm -hmm. show, on Maury, appeared on America's Most Wanted. Sarah Jessica Parker, who's an Ohio native, actually went on America's Most Wanted and pleaded to people to bring forward information. And the case kind of died down a little bit on the national level after just a couple of years. But I mean, this story has still been very relevant in our local news coverage. We've mm -hmm. covered this story for a long time. You've interviewed her dad, Greg Baker, many times. Mm -hmm. He's a very nice man. And, uh, you know, the heartache is still there for the family and the questions are still there for the community. And we hope that this podcast will maybe help answer some of those questions. Mm -hmm but maybe help bring new attention to it. So maybe, just maybe, somebody can step forward and provide a tip that can lead us to Erica's body. You know, you talk about the emotion that the family is still feeling, you know, 23 years later, and it's crazy because all the times that I've interviewed Greg, you can hear it mm. in his voice. And, I, and, and I've been kind of getting a sneak peek of uh, uh, the podcast uh, as you guys have been getting the episodes in, and it, it, it's, you can hear it in mom's voice and grandma's voice and dad's voice. You just hear it in all of their voice, and even the detectives. Well, and that's the thing, too, is it, it's still a very raw experience yeah, for the is. investigators. The detective broke down crying, remembering mm -hmm. that moment. He had kids that were the same age as Erica. Uh, the prosecutors we spoke to had daughters that were the mm -hmm. same age as Erica. So I, I think anybody who was a parent during that time really understood the fear that this community felt. And a lot of parents, mine included, held on to their kids a lot tighter after that. I think as a parent in general, I mean, if you're a parent, even just listening to it today, um, if you were a kid then, I mean, you've got to understand you, it, it takes yeah. you, you know, it takes you right to that mindset. And I think people from our generation, it's going to be a, a different look at the case mm -hmm. because I think we remember certain news clips when we were growing mm -hmm. up and, but th there's so much more to this case. I mean, and that's what the really incredible thing about yeah. it. I think that's what this podcast is going to open uh, the younger generation up to and allow them to look at this a different way. Like, you know, true crime, people love true crime yeah. podcasts. I mean, it's people like a dateline episode to be it's just just the episodes yep. I've heard it's li it, like you a, guys lay it out almost like a Dateline episode it's almost like a Netflix series as it well. is it so, is I mean it's definitely something you're gonna want to keep track of subscribe now on all podcast providers is really easy to do so. It's on Spotify, Stitcher, Apple Podcasts, good stuff. You can go watch that trailer now actually as well. Just scan the QR code you see right there on your screen. As Nathan was saying, there's gonna be links to full episodes, web extras related to that investigation that Dayton 24 seven now has done. Again, as Nathan mentioned, that podcast available wherever you get podcasts. And also every Wednesday from here on yes. out, there's going to be a new episode dropping. Elise and I are going to be talking about those episodes as they become available.